In today's video, we're going to be introducing the concept of limits. So if this is something you struggle with, keep watching. So to understand limits, let's rewind a bit and review functions. So let's say we have the function f of x equal to x squared, and let's say we had to find f of 2. Well, to find f of 2, essentially what we would do is plug in 2 into the x's of our function. So when we do that, that would give us 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4. So f of 2 would be 4 in this case. But what if we had to evaluate this? First of all, what is this right here? How would we even say this? Well, to say this, this is basically saying what is the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, okay? Now, what is the limit? Now, with limits, the whole idea is finding out what's happening to f of x as we approach our x value. And in this case, our x value is 2. But what do we mean by approach? Let's visualize f of x graphically. So let's say we graphed x squared, okay? Now, if we went to x equal to 2, right, we can say there's two ways to approach 2. We can say one way to approach 2 is from the left side, which is everything less than 2. And then we can say the other way to approach 2 is from the right side, which is everything greater than 2. But still, what do we mean by approach? Let's visualize this on a number line and place 2 in the middle. Now, if we looked at the left side, values that are really close to 2 would be like 1.5. 1.9, 1.99, 1.999, etc. And then if we go to the right side, values that are really close to 2 would be like 2.5, 2.1, 2.01, 2.001, etc. So essentially, what we are doing is it's basically plugging in these values that are really close to 2 into f of x, and we want to see, okay, what is happening to f of x as we get really close? So if we were to create tables for both the left side and right side and plug in these values into f of x, what's happening to f of x? So if we look at the left side, if we look at the very last value, you'll notice that f of x is 3.9996, okay? Well, 3.9996 is really close to 4, right? So we can say, well, the left side is approaching 4 as we get really close to 2. And if we look at the right side, if we look at the last value, we can say, well, the value is 4.0004. Well, that's pretty close to 4, right? So we can say, well, the right side, is a, as it approaches 2, is approaching 4 as well. Therefore, we can conclude, well, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is 4, okay? Now, notice that with all the values, we never actually plugged in 2 itself. Okay, and that is key information. With limits, we don't actually evaluate the function at that x value that we're approaching because we're only approaching it, we're not evaluating at the exact value. We just wanna find the values surrounding it that are really, really close. And that is really important when it comes to limits. Okay, now, this is basically the idea of it. Um, but I want to make a note that when it comes to actually evaluating limits, algebraically at least, it's very similar to how we evaluate functions. So we create this table, and this is essentially what's happening in the background with the limit, okay? But you don't have to create this table each time to evaluate the limit. In reality, if we want to find the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, all we have to do is really just plug in 2 into f of x okay now i want you to know this is not the same as evaluating a function but this is kind of how we would evaluate a limit which is very similar to functions so we gonna we could have just plugged in 2 into our x squared and that would have given us 4 but i just wanted to show you in the background this is really what's happening as we evaluate this limit this is what's occurring okay now let's switch gears and let's say we we're given the graph of the following function. Now you might notice something a little different with this function. And if you look at x equal 1, you might notice that at x equal 1, there is a hole, which means this function is discontinuous. So if we had to find f of 1, well, 
it would be d and e because it's discontinuous at x equal to 1. But what about the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x? Would this be d and e as well? Well, let's go over it. Remember, with limits, we never actually evaluate at that x value. So yeah, it is discontinuous at 1, but with limits, we never plug in 1 into our function. We just plug in all the values that are really, really close to 1 in our function. So like we did in the previous example, we can say, well, values that are really close to 1 would be like, well, from the left side would be like 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999. You kind of get the gist. And then from the right side, we can say, well, 1.5, 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, .001, etc. So if we were to plug in all these values, if we look at the last value for our left side, you notice that it's 1.9999. 1 1.9999 is really close to 2, right? So we can say, well, it's approaching 2 from the left side. And if we look at the right side, it's 2.0001, which is also really close to 2. Therefore, we can say, well, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is 2. And there you have it. Now, like I said before, we do not need to create these tables. And similarly to how we can easily just evaluate limits, like functions, algebraically at least, we can do the same graphically. With functions, we usually locate that x value and see where that y value is, how far we go up. That's very much what we do for limits. If we wanted to find the limit as x approaches 1, similarly to functions, we would just go to that x value and look at where this hole is. And we would say, well, it's at 2. So in this case, the limit is just 2. But remember, this is just what's happening in the background, okay? Um, but yeah, that's kind of what separates functions from limits. With limits, we can evaluate functions that are both continuous and discontinuous. Of course, under certain conditions, but yeah now this is just a little introduction to limits of course there are so many more rules to learn but this is the main idea behind limits it's all about looking at f of x as we approach an x value okay now that pretty much wraps up this video today and if there's any key takeaways i just want you to remember functions is at the x value limits are when we approach the x value okay um, so I hope this video was helpful guys. I hope you have a better understanding of limits and take care